Alright, this video I'm going to give a product review of two different uh, stretching machines, uh, split stretching machines. Uh, these are equipment specifically for the martial arts and you don't, typically will not find this type of equipment at the average gym. Um, but I've tried two different ones. Um, I bought one and another one somebody uh, let us borrow to use and there's quite a few benefits of the one that, you know, when you compare the two um, to see which one's better for you. I want to basically help you make a better purchasing decision so you get more for your money. Um, this one right here, I don't know exactly what it's called, but there has a, there's a, it's a wheel spinning device on the top, okay? And it comes off. The nice thing about this one, which is great, is that it already comes pre-assembled and it just comes the way it, it looks right here, which is a huge benefit. The other one that I have, you had to assemble it, and it's quite complicated to assemble the device. All right. So this one actually goes beyond 180 degrees. 180 degrees is the full split. This one actually goes 360 degrees, which makes it pretty amazing. Like it'll challenge you, no matter how flexible you are, it'll take you to your limit you know, and potentially beyond your limit because it just keeps going and going and going. It doesn't stop, all right? Another thing that I noticed about this is that there's fewer, like, working parts, so I feel that it's less likely to break. But at the same time, um, I have a client who weighs 250 pounds, or 215 pounds, and he's been training for the splits, but he basically has so much resistance coming forward that he told me that he bought like three different ones or three kinds of split machines like this where, the, where you spin the wheel and they all broke on him you know because he's a bigger person that has a lot of resistance coming forward but if you're not that big of a person you don't have that much resistance coming forward then there's a good chance that it may last for a pretty long time another thing that's nice about this one is that the the seat rests right back here, it actually goes down. So you could actually position it to where it could go all the way down. Okay? So, it's, this one's very nice. Uh, I do pretty much recommend this one. And I'll demonstrate it right here. And you'll see that it takes me past my limits. So what you do is you just keep turning it. And the nice thing about this one is that you're able to progressively get a better stretch. Like, you can just turn it just very little, little by little, which is very nice. Um, this stretch machine is very similar to having a partner push your legs out, but it's even better because you get to control the resistance progressively. And you don't need to use, utilize another person's time in order to help you stretch. Okay, so you just keep turning it. And this wheel also comes off, so then you could stretch forward from this position if you needed to. Okay, so I could keep going now. And as I stated, it just keeps going and going and going, so it just won't stop. You know, so basically, it challenges my flexibility um, like no other machine that I ever tried before. Um, and then you can slowly put a little less resistance, like I just did, kind of ease up on it, and then kind of massage yourself while you prepare to go a little further. Okay, so say I progress a little bit more. See, the only disadvantage I'll say about this one is it doesn't give you a gauge of where you're at. There's no degrees. It doesn't say 180 degrees, 109 degrees, 200 degrees. And that's, that's the thing that, that this is, um, 
that's a quite you know a little bit of a disadvantage. But if you already can do the splits, this will challenge you to go even further. So this is a very good piece of equipment. Um, I feel that it's more durable. I feel that it helps you progress beyond, you know, to keep challenging you no matter how flexible you are. Um, it already comes pre-assembled. Um, this is just a really good stretching device. The only thing that I draw back that I would basically say is that there's no reading to tell you where your split is. So, we did this one. This is the next one. This is the one that I originally have. This one's from Century. And this one does not come pre-assembled. You have to assemble it yourself. And it, quite, it is quite complicated to assemble. Um, and there's more working parts in this one where it, so basically it makes it easier to break down. Right. The other one utilizes like more of a, a solid rod. You know that that spins like a um, like a screw, and I think that's a lot stronger. This one utilizes cables, and these cables can get loose, and this mechanism right here can break down, and that pretty much destroys the entire split machine once it breaks down. This right here comes, the pads come off. Um, so you come right here, and then there's a part right here that can help you stretch, and that one comes off as well. So. You have to assemble this one, all right? This one, the back rest does not move. It stays where it's at. Um, this one, you push forward like this. And the nice thing about this is that it tells you where you're at as far as how far it's stretching out. But this thing does break down, this mechanism right here. And that's why I got to hold it down while I push it. Otherwise, it doesn't stay right now. So I'm pushing it forward, and this one, it latches on, there's notches, and the problem with it with some people is that the next notch may be too much, you know, and it doesn't really help you move like, you know, inch by inch, it, it kind of forces it a little bit more than maybe you could handle. That's a problem with this one, that potentially can be a problem. And another thing is, this one, it only goes to 180 degrees and then it just stops there. Like it doesn't challenge you to go beyond. Okay? So I'm at 180 and this is the farthest it goes. And I'm not in that much pain, as you can see. So I could go further, but it won't, it won't go any further. Okay, so I would say that the other one is a better split machine. Um, the challenge the people that really want to become more flexible, people that are even already flexible, I would say, I mean, people that are already flexible, this will even take you to even further develop your flexibility beyond. Because um, right now, I feel like this one's helping me become even more flexible than I already am. And the nice thing about it, what I really like is I don't need to depend on some on a partner to help me stretch even further. I don't really like to use people's time like that. I like to be self-sufficient in what I do, and I don't like to have to depend on another person to kind of push my legs out to get me a better stretch. This one keeps going and going and going and just won't stop. Even when you stretch against the wall, you can't go beyond the wall. But this one actually will push you beyond the wall, which is pretty um, intense. So this is my my recommendation. You know, based on trying these two split machines out, this one definitely is, um, in my opinion, a higher quality split machine.
course, there's potential of injury because this one has no limit of how far it can push you. You can't injure yourself. So that's something that you need to um, be aware of. You could injure yourself if you just keep pushing it and pushing it, and your body just can't handle it, you know. Um, so this is an excellent split machine. Excellent. And of course, we got the traditional way of where we use the floor. And you'll see me doing the splits with the floor. Which is, of course, the most cost effective. I think this one definitely will help take my splits to the next level. And um, I'm very much looking forward to um, increasing my flexibility with this device.